Men are only boys grown tall. Do you remember the feeling of contentment as you lazily played in that first jump in the old swimming hole? Or chaw and clothes afterwards to south? Maybe you remember some special cow path or lane. Yes, boyhood on the farm seems like fun. But sandwiched in, there's a lot of hard work. Lugging water from the well, turning the grindstone and the cream separator. A little hand milking doesn't seem so bad now. But remember how tiring it was, and sometimes even aggravating? There's always been lots of hard work on the farm, more than human muscles could do. And for years, horses provided the extra or needed on the farm. And once in a while, <laughs> even Rover was pressed into service. But the main power was still old Dobby. The romance of fine horses still clings to the farm. But out in the fields today, the tractor has taken over most of the horses' work and electrified farm machinery has shouldered much of the burden back at the barn. A farmer spends much of his time around his barn. Department of Agriculture figures show that the average farmer spends one-third of his working time doing jobs in and around farm buildings. And on a poultry or dairy farm, 80% of the farmer's time is spent around his barn. With dozens of regular chores to do, besides the big seasonal job, a farmer can use all the help he can get. And modern farm machinery gives him this needed help. Farmers all over America, dairy farmers such as John Merkel, poultrymen like Merle Rogers, fruit growers like Ed Mist and men of the Midwest who plant their acres in corn, such as Bill Swanson here, are all growing and handling larger crops by using electrified farm machinery to save them time and to cut down on their back-breaking labor. For example, electric pumps will furnish water for ditch irrigation, for supplementary irrigation, or for all the everyday water requirements on the average farm. On these everyday jobs alone, electric pumps save 270 hours every year, 27 10 hour days saved, nearly a month of your working time. Electrified chicken pickers save still more time. And electrified egg cleaners and graders will save the average size poultry farm 400 man hours a year. Farm refrigerators store eggs, vegetables, meat, and fruit. Conveyors and elevators will carry your fruit to storage, and elevators lift wheat, hoist bale hay up to the barn, all corn or any other farm pot. Electric elevators take only one-third the time that old-fashioned elevating systems did, and the tractor, plus that extra man or boy, can be out working in the fields where they belong. Then, to help the farmer handle crops, there are electrified machines like Hoyt, crop dryer, and hammer mill. Hammer mills and mixers can save 100 hours a year. Electrified tools help you keep all the farm equipment repaired and running like a clock. Tools like drills, bandsaw, and grinders can cut in half the time a farmer spends repairing equipment and sharpening tools. Dairy farmers for years have been using many of these machines to save work and precious time. Machines to milk cow, to store and cool the milk, to separate cream, and to churn butter. These progressive farmers are quick to accept the new equipment that farm machinery manufacturers devise to help farmers do their far more faster, 
with less battery. Some of these new machines are the wagon unloaders. The safe and work-saving silo unloader. And the back-saving gutter cleaner. Let's visit one dairy farmer who uses many electrified machines as his hired hand. John Merkel. Like all of us, he takes pride in telling about his latest piece of equipment. I'm glad you came over to see my barn cleaner. I found that it saves me four man hours a day. After the rush of harvest lets up, a man has a chance to look back at the past season and make plans for the next. Last fall, while my back was still aching from getting the crops in, I came out to the barn one morning and started to shovel out the gutters. What a life, I thought. Uh, there must be some easier way to do this job. And there was. Now I push a button and the barn cleaner automatically cleans the gutters. The paddles push the litter along right up the conveyor to the spreader. When this is full, I just hitch the tractor to it and haul it to my field for fertilizer. Next year, I hope to install a silo and loader like my neighbor Shoal has. There's no strain on his back because the hydraulic control keeps the unloader at the correct spot to cut the silage loose. All Shoal does is push a button. And the silage is chopped free from the silo and drops down into the cart. Uh, that's easier and safer than climbing a ladder twice a day just to throw down silage. An electric motor fills my silo. Why not unload it the same way? Electrified machines do a lot of other work for me, too. They grind the feed, milk the cows, ventilate the barn, Pasteurize all the milk for my family's needs and cool the milk. The cooler has a thermostat that controls the compressor which keeps the milk at the proper temperature. And out of doors, we're installing an electric fence. Thanks, John, for showing us how a dairy farmer can use electric controls and power to give himself more time to spend at other things. Now let's visit another section and see another kind of farming, a fruit farm in the Northwest. This orchard is a lovely sight when the trees bloom in the spring. Tourists and town folks see this and think, ah, that's just where I'd like to live, right there among the blossoms and the bees. But I bet they'd change their mind if they saw all the work that goes into a fruit crop that's Ed Miskey, and he'll have 100,000 boxes of fruit to pick, wash, sort, pack, and store this fall. It's a big job, but let's have Ed tell you how it's done. We'd never get it done in time if we didn't use machines. Packing fruit has always been hard work, and today you just can't get enough men to do all this work. So fruit packing sheds are regular factories. In the good old days, you'd never see a production line of fruit. Farmers sold them just as they came from the tree. It was up to the customer to grade and wash them if he wished. But you just couldn't sell one in this condition today. Electricity is the only economical answer to a farmer's packing problem. Electric brushes and jets of water wash all traces of spray from the fruit. Then an automatic dunking in the rinse bath and the fruit is ready to move to the dryers and sorting table. My apples are really polished now, and I bet there isn't a school teacher in the land who wouldn't like to have one decorating her desk. If they pass the hazard of a hungry boy and get that far. Farmers growing all types of fruit have found out that the old method of sorting, grading, is too costly. So they've electrified. With my system, for example, I can do my packing in a hurry and at low cost. In case of any jam or pile-up that might bruise the fruit, the electric control stops the line immediately. Then, after a few seconds to clear the jam, a push of the control button will start the line again. All these clean and graded beauties are now hand-wrapped, so they'll keep longer and look better and fetch the highest price. 
270 boxes of fruit roll along this line every hour. Without electricity, I'd be able to pack less than half as much. Conveyors carry the boxes to the nailing machine where the box tops go on, and then the conveyors take over again. 15,000 boxes of my fruit go into my own farm cooler every year. Electricity for cold storage costs me $300 a year. So for two cents per box, I get the insurance of cold storage right on my own farm. I just couldn't get all this work done if my power supplier didn't furnish me reliable electric power on tap all the time. That's right. All over the country, the many power suppliers are furnishing the same reliable service to all farmers. It is equally true here in this eastern country where we visit a poultry farm. This is Merle Rogers' poultry farm. The birds are pedigreed prize winners and profitable egg producers. Merle believes in starting with fundamentals, and his first concern is his water supply. Let's ask him. I believe that a good water system pays off. It ensures healthy chicks and plenty of eggs. On the range or in my hen houses, Electricity gives me that steady supply so my birds grow fat and healthy. A good ventilation system helps keep them that way. Electricity helps out with every step of the chicken's development. In the beginning, in the incubator, electricity supplies the heat and ventilation to raise a beauty like this. Then an electric brooder takes over. These chicks will grow to be vigorous, healthy birds and that means big egg producers. But to further increase egg production, my electric control system flicks the lights on at night, so my hens lay day and night. My flock not only produces big eggs, but lots of them. An electric egg washer helps me clean my eggs safely, and in one hour I can clean and grade a hundred dozen. It formerly took eight hours to do these jobs by hand. and immediately the eggs go to the cooler to keep them farm fresh. But there are still some things that never change. When I need a chicken for the stew pot, I still have to catch her by hand. But then the modern picking machine takes over, and the bird is plucked in a blizzard of feathers. Electrified machines have proved to be my best hired hands. This electric litter stirrer is my newest one, and the other day, I was looking at still another, an automatic poultry feeder. I believed that I could use one because it would give me more time for other work. All you do is fill the hopper with feed, and the automatic drive takes over. The chain carries the feed out to the house. There's no pile up on the corners. The feed moves along smoothly and easily. And every bird in the house gets his full share. Not only is every bird well fed, but this steady feeding helps fatten them faster. This electric feeder works just as well out on the range, and the dinner bell rings whenever the birds are hungry. The farmer must keep abreast of all new equipment if he wants a better living. That's right, Merle. And in electrified farm machinery, there's always something new under the sun. Progressive farmers continually look for these newer ways of doing old jobs better. But all the machines are not used for farm chores alone. Electrified tools such as power saws, paint sprayers, concrete mixers and the like help build and repair buildings at lower cost and with less waste. Let's visit a good farm workshop and introduce a young farmer in the corn country, Bill Swanson. I'm glad you could come and take a look at my workshop. I'm proud of it. It's about as complete as any in this area. Machines help me raise my cattle, hogs, and corn. And my tools here keep these machines in tip-top shape. Whether it's a chisel to be sharpened, intricate work on the bandsaw, or drilling holes. All these machines save me time on my repair job. It doesn't matter whether the job is large or small. My shop is set up to handle all of them 
and in a hurry. When I need them, I even have a lathe and welder ready to go to work. It's hard to imagine how the old timers ever farmed their land without modern machinery. As for me, I'm going to use all the help I can get, and that means electrified machines. Take this load of corn. How'd you like to unload it by hand? Well, you wouldn't have to unload corn or any other product by hand today. This unloader will do it for you. Then the elevator does all the lifting. Elevators have cured more farmers' backaches than all the liniment ever sold. The corn sheller takes over another mean job for me. I just feed it ear corn as fast as I want to, and the ears are rushed to a maze of gears that strip the cobs clean as a whistle, leaving whole kernels ready to be bagged and stored. The electric motor on my hammer mill saves me a dollar and a half on every ton of feed that I grind. All farmers need and like machinery. And I guess most of us use the machinery exhibits as an excuse to go to the county fair. As always, the fair was as much fun as the circus. The whole community takes out a carnival atmosphere. Youngsters stuff themselves with forbidden sweets. Older folks try for trinkets they don't need. And there's a ride for everybody. Colorful merry-go-rounds, shiny new speedboats, and racing cars for the kids. And for the teenage crowd, there's the whip. Everybody piles up in front of the sideshows, so the midway is always crowded as the barkers describe wonders you can't afford to miss. These sideshows have something going every minute, and the kids, young and old, are held spellbound. The show from the grandstand pleases everybody. The trotting races, a real honest-to-goodness Wild West rodeo, and the annual parade of prize cattle and stock. It was mighty difficult to tear away from all this fun, but the fair did have a serious side that was important to the farm family. So we left the amusement area, and the women went to see the home exhibits while we men headed for the operating demonstrations of crop handling machines. The fanning mill demonstration was the first one we saw. The seeds are dumped into the hopper of this cleaner and greater, and all the chaff and dirt is blown away. Only the correct size seed passes through the screens and falls into the pails. For a farmer who uses his own seed, this cleaner and greater is a far cry from the fanning mill you cranked as a boy. For the needs of my farm, however, the crop dryer demonstration was even more valuable. Here was a machine that could save me days in drying my crops for storage and preserve that quality. The operation is simple. Cold air is drawn in from outside, and this air is heated 50 to 60 degrees higher. Now, just as your throat becomes parched and dry on a blistering hot day, in the same way, this air becomes dry and thirsty. This dry, thirsty air is rushed through the billowing canvas duct and into the drying bin. Here, it drinks in as much water from the crop as it can hold, and emerges as a cloud of steam with particles of water saturating the air. Just rub your hand across the outside of the bin, and you can see how much moisture this dryer is out. The complete operation is simpler, and air is drawn in. To heat this air, the oil burner switch is held in until the flame detector control is thoroughly heated. This control keeps the burner working, heating the air until the operator stops the action. After seeing this demonstration, I knew that I needed a crop dryer, so next day I did something about it. I went to see my farm equipment dealer. He's a live wire and always has a complete line of new equipment in stock. Just to glance around, and I could see field equipment of all kinds, as well as silo unloaders, barn cleaners, seed cleaners, and hammer mills. Our farm dealer is not a high-pressure salesman by any means. He's smart. 
He makes a study of our needs and problems, and he's interested in seeing that we get machinery that will save us money, time, and labor. That way he keeps us as steady customers. He realizes that farmers are businessmen who want to produce as much as possible at the lowest cost. That's why I was interested in the crop dryer, because I thought it would save time and crops, and that's money to any farmer. His dryer was similar to the one demonstrated at the fair. The dealer pointed out how well built it was, how it was fashioned for long economical operation, and all the parts were of the best material. And in addition, he could guarantee that the electric motor would never be out of service just when I needed it most. With the motor exchange plan, I just bring my damaged motor in and get a factory rebuilt motor as an exchange. The slight charge for service is cheap insurance against costly delays. You can put it down in the book that I am sold on electrified farm machinery. Always remember, Bill, that the manufacturers of farm machinery are constantly building more and better products that will save even more time and labor for the farmer. Their plant's production lines carry more and more of your work by placing electric motors and controls at your service in machines that will help you as hired hands, dependable, knowing hired hands, on the job and ready to work whenever you want them. The constant strides towards better machinery by farm machinery manufacturers have resulted in these new machines. The barn cleaner, the wagon unloader, the seed cleaner, the crop dryer, and the silo unloader. Moreover, the design engineers of the farm machinery manufacturers have new designs and machines on their drawing tables today. And tomorrow, these designs will go to the production lines of their factory where skilled workmen will assemble the strong, dirty parts to give you still another machine that will save you work, save you money, and give you more free time. Time to do jobs. Time you can spend seeing friends or getting better acquainted with your family. Extra time, when you might even sneak away with the boy and head down to the lake. Happy man and happy he alone, who can call today his own. He who secure within can say, tomorrow do thy work, for I have lived today. <laughs>